This is the first in a series of creating very simple books for young students. The whole idea is just to build up their confidence and so show them how easy it is to achieve quite a lot in a short time. So I'm going to go to new slide now and if you've seen some of my other tutorials you'll know that I like to choose the title only one, shrink this a little bit. This is for very young children so we're going to stick with about size 36, move this in a bit because we won't be doing a lot of writing and I'm going to go to insert and shapes down the bottom to the action buttons which just gives us a button which gives us the left to right reading and takes us to the next page. We are just going to create a counting book as we saw in the title so I'm going to hold shift and make a circle and a simple text one blue circle. Now what we're seeing here is a little bit of bad spelling but we will um, just go over here, click on the slide over in the left hand panel here and do control D to duplicate and control D is one of my favorite things in a number of programs and here we've now just have to double click on this and click and go to blue and just put so immediately we're getting a lot done in a short time over here and we're going to go to control D We've got the same thing. I'm going to trace around both of these. The students have learned to trace a lot in paint and we're going to choose another color. Right, two, and I'm going to double click, change that to yellow, and happy with that. Back over to here, control D. I'm going to trace around these guys again and just shrink them. So now we are going to be building up the vocab a little bit by typing the word small in here and as you can see we can do all sorts of similar things like that. In the next part of this tutorial we're going to make an emergent reader for young students. What I like to start off with is this, just six pages, a title page, introduction, three times action pages and a funny or surprise ending. This means that the students don't take long to actually achieve something. Then if they really like what they have done, they can go back and add more action pages in to the book. I'm also adding in here some different techniques for filling the different shapes that we use. So I'm going to go to the next page now, and which I've already made. I like orange ice cream. So we're going to go to insert, look for shapes, and I think this might make a good cone. So immediately I'm going to use the rotate handle and just drag this around and I'm going to go looking for um, a shape fill and this time I'm going to go to texture and you can see here a number of things that might be interesting. I think though I'll go for a waffle cone and just put that there. I'm now going to get an oval tool, hold shift and I'm just going to go with a circle and that should be okay but it's orange so the shape full and I'll just run down to that one and what you can do also is to take out the shape outline so now we've got no outline and I like the look of that. I'm going to just quickly go over here and go do control D a number of times because we'll be able to use this as the basis of the next few pages. We won't have to make much changing. So I'm going to go into here now and I'm just going to go back to page three. So that's correct. I'll go to shapes and I'm just going to go with a little rectangle and I'm just going to put that in there. Get the, uh, well, this is chocolate chip this is going to be. So I'm going to try and get in there and just do control D and or control drag that I'm doing at the moment. The advantage of control drag is that you can just put the things exactly where you want them. Right, that'll do. And I'm going to click in here and I like orange chalk chip ice cream. On to the next page. And we I'm going to change this because we're going to go with hokey pokey. And I'm just going to go and put right that might be quite a nice colour there. And I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to use one of my favourites, the free form, and I'm just going to make it a bit 
doesn't matter too much about this that will be pretty good i think and we're going to go up to the fill and that, i quite like the look of that and i definitely think this would look better with the uh, shape outline not being there so i'm going to go no outline and again i can just drag a few of these down here i might circle a couple um twist turn them around and i could make them bigger or smaller but i'm just not going to do too much of that just now and that will do and i like double click hokey hokey ice cream now i'm going to click on over here and down it's on the next one and i'm going to change this to red because we are going to like raspberry ripple ice cream so i'm going to click over here and i'm going to go to show and i'm going to go to gradient fill so what I've done is actually I chose the red so it would immediately go to red and we've got these little bits going on here where you can drag these little stops in and out and then I might do this here and I might if I click here I might just add um, another red and so right well I think I really want it and so that is quite a nice raspberry ripple um, effect so now I'm going to click down here and I'm just going to change the flavor and that will do me nicely and it's an I like chocolate dip ice cream so uh, it's going to be lime chocolate dip by the look of it so what I have to do now is go back into shapes and I'm just going to use the free form or I might just might use the scribble this time I'm just going to start in here and I'm just going to run around here a little bit it's going to be pretty rough and double click to finish and if I go into here now and choose that color that will do me quite nicely now I need a finishing page I'm going to click over here and do control D and I'm going to actually start with this and I'm going to do Control G to group this because I want to make it a little bit smaller. What I could do is then sneak back into some of these pages if I wanted to and just do Control C to copy that sneak back here. And then do Control V and I will make that a bit smaller. Um, and you can see what's going on here and I actually might make another one. I'm just going to move that up a bit in another one. Notice how the control D in this situation, they go on top of each other. And so all, all I could do is go into here and just, I'm going to change some of these. And this time um, I might make that green and go in there and make that dark green. Now I'd play around with a whole lot of these and just put some of the different things in that I had in before and uh, I'm not going to put too much effort into this now, but I'm just going to change this model for this my I like all ice cream. And that might be the end.